We'll now move on to question five. Um, in here it says determine the current I2 in amps through this two ohm resistor. Note the direction of the current. Uh, do not include units in your answer. Okay, um, so we're gonna, first thing that we should notice is that this looks a lot like the previous problem where we had uh, used current division to help us. Uh, and uh, the, we're gonna do the exact same thing in this problem. So we notice that they care about this current here. Uh, so for now, I'm gonna ignore that. I'm gonna ignore that. I'm going to first uh, think of the fact that there's a node here. There's a five amp current source uh, going into that node. And I'll say that there's some amount of current that goes through this branch, the, through the five ohms and the eight ohms. And then there will be some amount of current that goes through this two ohm resistor. I'll call this I2 prime. I'll call this here uh, I58, 5, 5, 8, to denote the current going through the series combination of the 5 ohm resistor and the 8 ohm resistor. So let me just reduce this circuit a little bit. So we still have the 5 amp source. Here's our 2 ohm resistor. And I'm going to just draw this and illustrate the fact that they are indeed in parallel if you combine the 5 and the 8 ohm source to become 13 ohms. And we still care about this I2 prime. Uh, we don't really care about the I5, 8, because the question uh, ultimately asks us about this branch. Uh, so before we move on, since I've defined I2 prime to be the current traveling from top to bottom uh, through this 2 ohm resistor, which is opposite to the direction in which they've labeled the current, that tells me that whatever answer I get for I2 prime is going to be the opposite of what I'm looking for. So therefore, when I do find I2 prime, I just need to put a negative negative sign in front of it to get my final answer. Um, so now the goal is to find what I2 prime is, and we see I2 prime in this uh, reduced circuit that we've drawn. And again, we're just going to use the current division formula to help us. So I2 prime is equal to the source current, that's the five amps, and then you'll multiply that by the opposite resistor divided by the sum of the two resistances. And then this would be uh, the I2 prime value. And then if you wanna get your answer, again, I2 is equal to negative I2 prime. And then you can simplify this later. Uh, and that would conclude this problem.